What is the Ross procedure? With the Ross procedure, we take out the patient's own pulmonary valve, which is a different heart valve, and use that healthy valve to replace the diseased aortic valve. A human cadaveric valve is then used in place of the pulmonary valve. The pulmonary valve, when used to replace the aortic valve, continues to live and starts to take on the characteristics of an aortic valve, thereby providing a living aortic valve substitute. You may ask, why not just put a cadaveric valve right into the aortic valve? That is because we want to use the best valve substitute in the most critical position, which is the aortic position, and the best valve substitute is a living pulmonary valve. We then put the cadaveric valve in the low stress, low pressure environment of the pulmonary valve, where it is less likely to wear out. The Ross procedure has many benefits over traditional aortic valve replacement in non-elderly patients. In fact, it is the only aortic valve replacement procedure that has been shown to restore normal survival and has better survival compared to traditional AVR. In addition, the patient does not need to take blood thinners and the phenomenon of patient prosthesis mismatch is very rare. There is a lower risk of infection, bleeding, and stroke compared to traditional AVR. The Ross procedure is more durable than tissue valves, so there's less chance of needing another procedure in the future. And while it is less durable than mechanical valves, Ross patients do not need to take blood thinners, which is required for patients with mechanical valves. While the Ross procedure is an excellent option for non-elderly active patients with aortic valve disease, there are some factors to keep in mind. It may not be the best option in patients with significant kidney, liver, or lung disease. Even though the Ross procedure has excellent durability, there is about a 1% per year chance after the Ross procedure of needing another procedure to fix issues with the aortic or pulmonary valves. However, out of the four main complications that can occur after aortic valve surgery, namely reoperation, bleeding, infection, and stroke, reoperation has the lowest risk. In conclusion, the Ross procedure is an excellent option for non-elderly patients with aortic valve disease as it is the only aortic valve replacement procedure that can restore normal survival. Thank you for watching.